That was my attempt at matching the color grade of the movie Extraction, which is a very cool movie on Netflix that is action-packed and has a very impressive 12-minute wonder in it. I realize that my grade doesn't match up perfectly with the movies, but hopefully you guys can do a little bit better than I can. Um, so today's video is going to be more of a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I graded this in case you guys maybe want to shoot something like this and grade in this very stylized color. Okay, so we have my shot here, which I chose a frame where I'm in focus and the exposure is okay. I probably shot this at the wrong time of day. I shot it around 3 p.m. and I believe that the shots in the movie that I am matching this up with was shot around sunset. So uh, I'm definitely losing a little bit of that orange glow from my shot, but we'll try and add that in in post. So here's what I'm matching it up with. And just by looking at this frame, you'll notice that the whole shot is very muted. The highlights are not very high and the shadows are pretty faded. Uh, also, you'll notice Notice that there's pretty much no blue in the shot. It's pretty much all sucked out. So we have mainly very faded hunter greens in the shot. We have a lot of oranges, a lot of yellows, a little bit of reds. And let's just double check that by bringing up our scopes here. And that tells us what our eyes see. If we look at the Luma waveform, you'll notice that uh, the shadows don't go down to zero and the highlights are not very bright at all. In fact, the brightest thing in this image is his skin, which if we crop into his skin, in you'll notice that his skin falls right about where it should be on the Luma waveform, which measures brightness. His skin is about 45 to 50 IRE, which seems about accurate for his skin tone. And if we look at the vector scope, you'll notice his skin is not on the skin tone line. And I realize in previous videos I've mentioned that your skin should fall on this line, but that really is only the case if you're trying to get a more natural look. If you're going for a stylized look, like say, some of the Hollywood movies, then you're going to uh, maybe push it outside of this line. This can be seen in movies like Blade Runner 2049, where they have lights blasting in maybe with blue or red gels on them that made the whole set red and blue. So obviously in that instance, your skin tones are not going to be accurate, are not going to be on this skin tone line. But once again, that's a stylized choice. So we'll press reset and done. Let's unmute our clip underneath and let's mute this clip. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is expand my dynamic range to add a little bit more contrast to my image and then I'm also going to add some saturation. So I'm going to click on my clip and press command 6 to open up my color board. I'm going to use the color wheels for now to change my exposure, but you can use the color board like we had to use in the past with the old Final Cut Pro. And you can also use the color curves and make a quick S curve, but um, for now and for this example I'm just going to use the color wheels. So let's bring up the color wheels and what I'm going to do is raise my uh, the overall exposure of my image and bring down the shadows. But if you remember on that clip of Chris, the shadows are very faded. Yeah, so very faded, very, very faded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my shadows maybe about here and I can adjust them later on if I think that that's, uh, that's not where I want them. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of saturation into my shot here. Not too much. I'm going to add a lot more later on, but this is just the base correction. The next thing I'm going to do is start adding a little bit of the color that is in this shot we're trying to match into my shot. So it is predominantly orange and yellow in the highlights and in the shadows it's very very muted green and there's almost no blue. We can check these levels by bringing up our RGB parades. So Let's bring up the RGB parade and you can see how unbalanced it actually is. And so we're going to try and match this. So let's unmute my clip and what I'm going to do is go into my color curves. I am going to start introducing a little bit more orange and red into my highlights and a little bit of my mid-tones. So if you don't know how to use these color curves, basically on the high point of the lines you have the highlights in your shot and towards the bottom you have the shadows. So it's basically uh, a luma value line and you can introduce more reds and decrease the reds for each luma value based on which section you 
grab. I hope that I explained that well enough. So for example, I'm now increasing the reds and the highlights. And if I make more of a little curve here, I can flatten it out towards the shadows. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit more. And I realize that this color is not the color we want exactly. It doesn't match up perfectly with this frame of, uh, of Chris, but we're gonna add something a little bit later. I'm going to add a little bit of greens in my shadows and then drag this point down a little bit more. And then I am also going to decrease this section right here so that I don't get too much green into the darkest points of my shadows. The next thing I'm gonna do is open up another color wheels and I am going to take my highlights and really shove that thing into the orange and the yellow. And I know it is starting to look very unnatural, but the color grade of this movie is really unnatural all around. Even in scenes where it shows the sky, the sky is very orange and has like a hint of, uh, of pink as well. Let's pull up the frame and take a look at exactly what we're trying to match. So I'm gonna keep pushing it a little bit more. Okay, that's a bit like it, it's a little bit yellow orange i'm going to increase the saturation a tad and i am now going to play with the greens a little bit more although the greens match up fairly well i think we did a good job on the color curves but just to change it a little bit more i'm going to go to hue saturation curves i am going to go to hue versus hue which is going to pick a color in the shot and it'll give me the ability to change the color of that color so i'm going to grab the green and it should pop up right about here. Okay, I'm gonna drag this point a little bit more and I am going to play around with this. Okay, so we're gonna wanna raise it a little bit. There we go. That's not too bad. It's now a very muted green. Let me unmute this shot of Chris. Take a look at my... So I'm gonna change the color of the oranges and yellows in my shot. I will do that by going into the hue versus hue curve, the same thing, and I'm going to drag the point on my skin to make a selection here. Let me just pull this down. No. The thing is with this frame, I am not in the light like he is on that right side of his face. So uh, I do have the bottom of my arm, which is kind of in the light here. So I can use that as kind of a, an example of how I would match it. So you'll notice in the shot with Chris, it's very saturated. That orange and yellow is very saturated. So I'm going to add a bit more saturation into my skin and I'm going to specifically target this area that is in the light. I'm going to make a little bit more fine tune selection increase the saturation a tad that looks a lot better the next thing I'm gonna do because I think my shadows have a little bit too much color in them and also a little bit in my mid-tones so I'm going to go back into my clip I'm going to open up a another hue versus hue saturation curve and I'm going to go down to luma versus sat and I'm gonna pick the shadows in my image the the darkest of the dark and I'm going to decrease the saturation in these luma values in my shot so I'll drag this point down, pull this down here, and that is just gonna take out some of the saturation in my image. So if you look at my shirt, you'll notice it's um, not saturated, saturated, not saturated, saturated. Although if we look at the the image of Chris, his uh, the shadows are still pretty saturated and faded, but we're gonna leave this as is. I actually think I need to bring my highlights up a tad. So let me raise the highlights a little bit more and I'm going to go back to my hue versus hue saturation curve, go back to luma versus sat, and I'm gonna take out some of this saturation in this bright part of the image because that's very unnatural. Although in the movie, in the bright parts of the skies, it is still very saturated for them. So let me take out some of this saturation a tad. All right, that looks a little bit better. So the color of my skin, I don't think matches up very well. Um, I think my skin is a little bit more orange and we can tell that by looking at the vector scope. So let's pull up a one up scope option. Let's go to vector scope and let's take a look at my skin and then pull up the skin of Chris. 
So his skin is more yellow, my skin is a bit more orange and also way too saturated. As you can see, it extends a little bit too far. So let's correct that. Let's go back to hue saturation curve one. I'm going to select my skin here and I'm gonna make a more precise selection and just pull this down a little bit more. I actually think we should add a little bit more orange and yellow into our highlights to match this shot. So I'm going to go back into my clip into the second color wheels I added and I will push the highlights up even more orange yellow. Let's take this off and take a look. Our skin color is fairly similar here. I think the greens match up pretty well. I think the last thing I'm gonna do is go back into my hue saturation curves and I think I'm going, oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go to curves one. I'm gonna go to hue versus sat and I'm gonna make a selection here of what I think I see in my skin that is a little too much and it's more of a kind of a pink color. So let me decrease the saturation in this. And I think I will decrease the saturation in the mid-tones just a little bit. And I think that may be it. I think that's it, guys. I mean, that's, that's fairly close. It really is not perfect. It's not perfectly matched. But uh, as far as this look goes, which really is, a, is definitely an ugly color grade, but I think that matches okay. I think I'll leave it at that. Hopefully you guys can do better. That was the first time I've tried anything like this and it is a very weird color grade. If you guys enjoyed videos like this and you want me to do more movie matching or at least an attempt at movie matching, then let me know you enjoyed this in the comments below because I'm all ears. I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.